let us discuss this point so this point is effect of multiplication by t so that means when we have a function and t or any power of t is a multiple of that function then how to find its laplace transform technique is very simple simply we have to take derivative okay whatever the power of t suppose t square we have then we have to take second derivative when we have t cube as a multiple of f of t we have to take third derivative when you have simply t that means power of t is 1 then simply we have to take first derivative and minus 1 raised to n is also there okay so using this rule we can easily find okay laplace transform of t raised to n into some function let us discuss one example so you can clearly understand how to apply this technique so we have this function t sin at what we do first we focus on sin at First, we find Laplace transform of sin at and after that, we will use effect of multiplication by t to consider this t. Let us start. So, Laplace of sin at. So, you, you are familiar with the formula which is a upon a square plus a square. So, this is Laplace transform of sin at. So, now I am going to consider that t. So, Laplace transform of t sin at. See, this rule says when you have t raised to n what you have to do minus 1 okay minus 1 raised to n t raised to n that means t raised to 1 is here so value of n is 1 so minus 1 raised to 1 no need to write next derivative n is 1 so that's why we have to take only one day first derivative derivative of phi of s phi of s which is equal to laplace transform of f of t that means whatever Laplace transform of its neighboring function we have got, that function we have to put here. So its Laplace transform is a upon a square plus a square. I will repeat the procedure. What you have to do? T. Okay. You have to consider its power. Its power is 1. So n is equal to 1. So the formula says minus 1 raised to n, which is 1. nth derivative, n is 1. So that's why first derivative. Derivative of what? Derivative of Laplace of its neighboring function. Its neighboring function is sin at whose Laplace we have already calculated which is a upon a square plus a square. So I put that thing there. So let us find its derivative. a is constant will come outside. So it will be minus a, right? So derivative of 1 upon a square plus a square. So you must know this formula. Derivative of 1 upon x do you know this is minus 1 upon x square so this formula of derivative we have so that formula i'm going to use here 1 upon same structure we have got at a place of x we have a square plus a square so using that formula i can write minus a into minus 1 upon a square plus a square bracket square into again i am using chain rule getting so we found out its derivative but again derivative of denominator that bracket we need to take so its derivative i should write derivative of what a square plus a square when we have simply x then we say minus one upon x square but we have some function there so we take need to take its derivative that thing i have written let us continue it here so this is equal to what will happen minus minus plus a into one you will have a upon a square plus a square whole square right into let us simplify it what is derivative of a square it is 2s what is derivative of a square a is constant derivative will be 0 so 2s plus 0 so i am writing simply 2s so which is equal to 2as divided by a square plus a square bracket square getting so in this way we found out laplace transform of given function getting so keep in your mind when you have t raised to n as a multiple of function you have to use this effect of multiplication by t that means simply we have to take its derivative okay so you can make a screenshot of it after that in next videos we are going to discuss few interesting examples thank you bye bye